Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Well, we're going to do a little RC video for you here. And we don't have a lot of space in the living room to drive this big sucker. But uh, this is our Nico uh, Samurai uh, RC buggy. And uh, it's actually really cool. We've had this now for a few years. Um, driven it lots. And um, it's really cool. It's got digital proportional steering in forward and in reverse. Um, this is the remote here which is also, um, oh, it's got a reversible, there it is. If you pull the back lever, you can actually reverse this thing for a left or right-handed uh, driver. So, kind of neat that way. Got trim controls for the steering and for the forward and reverse. Um, just a great little toy. Um, well, not exactly little, but there's my foot. And uh, I'm just gonna go to the, the back here. This is the, the back of my foot. So you can see this thing is quite large in size. Um, it's got a pretty wide width to it too. You know, just as a size comparison, I've got a size 11 foot. So uh, this thing's not exactly uh, small by any means. And we actually put a little guy inside there that uh, actually should have glued them in place, but well, next time I take it apart. So anyway, um, let's get on with this little bit of a driving video, uh, just to show you this thing. And uh, like I was talking to you about the digital proportional steering, it's very it's sensitive steering. Uh, same, you pull at the tab here, push the button, and you can reverse it. I actually prefer it out this way. got the speed control to it. You can crawl it really slow. Or you can go fast. It uh, has pretty good grippy tires. So this thing's a lot of fun out on the dirt. I'll uh, more than likely do an update video to this in the spring when the snow is gone just to show you what it's like outdoors and um, in the gravel a bit. But uh, we paid like almost a hundred bucks for this thing at Canadian Tire a couple years ago. Um, we've never had any issues with it. Um, the range on this thing is uh, actually a little bit better than uh, two, three, two, 250 feet around that area. Uh, so it does have quite a long range on it. And uh, right now I'm only actually running a 9.6 battery in it, which is normal voltage, but I'm running a 400 milliamp. Uh, battery and uh, normally this thing uh, runs a 600, 800, 1000, 1600 uh, type batteries. Um, the more milliamps, the more play time you get with a 400, um, you're still going to get at least a good uh, 8 to 10 minutes of uh, play time out of it and it's a nickel methyl hydrate so it can go on and off charge and not hold a memory in it, uh, which is really great. Uh, but you can also run the ICAD 9.6s. It does have the Tamiya connector system in it. Um, and I'll just uh, show you the, the battery on this thing. And like I said, it normally uses a, a much larger size 9.6, but I thought I'd try in this 400, and the 400 is actually working really well. And uh, there's your Tamiya connector. Now these are probably older Tamiya style now because they've probably upgraded. But that's all it is, just a little 400 milliamp 9.6. And uh, said it's, it's actually undersized because they're normally bigger batteries in here. Um, 
but uh, it does work great. My uh, other batteries decided to pooch on me, so I picked this one up and it works pretty good. But here's your proportional steering. machine and they did make these in 27 and 49 megahertz models uh, so you could drive together if they had a red model and a blue model uh, I preferred the blue so that's the one I got but uh, she's a pretty beefy machine good suspension all the way around full suspension front and back you know they've got this uh, piece in the back, I guess you could use it for carrying it, it would be a lot easier, but I guess if you popped a wheelie or something, you know what I mean? Um, but, uh, it is a uh, really cool machine. So anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, you know, if you've got one of these machines, hey, let us know uh, what you think. Um, these also have quick release latches, by the way, you can pull these pins, and there's two screws back here. But then you got these pins and you can pull the whole body top off, which is kind of cool so you can get at stuff and clean it out after you've made a mess, and especially if you've gone and done mudding with it. But um, anyway, that's it. Have a good day.